Hello traders and welcome to this Bitcoin order flow analysis. Order flow is guiding 85% of my decisions. So in today's video we will go over exocharts analysis, trading light and TRDR. I will be going over most of my templates to have a look on Bitcoin from multiple angles so we can see what is happening on the intraday and higher time frame, higher time frames. We will be starting with the exocharts. I am zoomed now to my scalping template. Uh, Bitcoin topped out at 7,600. 7, this was the big short I was taking uh, with the group. We can see when I turn on the trades we were discussing in a group. It's uh, tra these trades. It's over here. It already reached two take profits. One take profit was taken here. Second take profit was taken over here in this range. And I'm waiting for the take profit tree in case market loses these lows and we'll be filling into the 66,000. For this low, we have massive order book support here, you will see a bit later. So this is take profit tree is uh, just 35% uh, of the position left because it already, you know, hit those two more important targets. Uh, the short over here was pretty straightforward. This area, this area here is massive order flow resistance. We had hundreds of millions. Uh, limit orders and market orders selling into them. So a lot of longs are trapped here. It was already acting as a resistance multiple times. It was also a swing failure pattern of this high. So this was no brainer trade for me um, in short side. But you can see as we were falling down from this from this trade, we were also getting a lot of longs participation. So if we go on into the open interest, we can see the move up was led by the leverage both from the coin merged contracts and from the stable coin so leverage was getting heavily long while spot market started dumping heavily on them i will show you that as well now market was going into the very deep um, deep pullback you can see the longs here they were closed so they were destroyed but also as market was falling further we are getting uh, new shorts participations in these regions you can see then we are starting to go into the range. We were trading this range very heavily yesterday. There were a lot of posts in our group. I will not go over, over the range trading here. I just want to show you uh, very aggressive shorts actually got destroyed already twice. So, you know, first segment was over here. Once we go into the, we did swing failure pattern of the yesterday highs and also like two days ago lows and also yesterday range swing failure pattern. <clears throat> We went to the push to the upside, the, the short started to close. So this was most of the, this was more shorts covering pump. Uh, open interest was decreasing. Well, it started to increase only after the pump. So fresh longs were getting in. But overall move here was, you know, so you, you could be also fading such moves because open interest decreases, you know, these moves are easily faded. And uh, you still have good portion of the shorts in this region. So once market takes out these highs and there will be no swing failure pattern, I expect a large moves to the upside or again, another wave of short squeeze uh, from the remaining shorts. And there is also liquidity above us. So you can see in our tool, let me switch back to it, uh, Bitcoin. So you can see there is nice liquidity for those people up there. Yeah, so liquidity is ending here. So it's very possible Bitcoin, if it's continue to the upside, then you need to watch the 69,200 area for potential swing failure pattern. If we don't stop here, then we go much higher. But if we do stop, it's a nice chance for the week and for the reversal for swing failure pattern. Yeah, but you already like rot rotated the range. So of course you, you, you are hitting also some take profits because market is still respecting. You see high here, high here, high. This is overall market structure resistance. So Bitcoin is, um, you know, people are taking profit here. They don't wait for the more short squeeze. Also above these highs, uh, these are weak highs. There is no selling tail, super weak highs actually. So market will fix that in the end, sooner or later. We also have weak lows because we, uh, you know, this low is very big, no buying tail. We also had another low coming into it. So you have massive liquidity below these lows. So very big lows, very big highs. And um, there is no resistance here. So it's very easy to actually take liquidity. You see this big move to the downside. There is low volume. Low volume here, single prints very likely. So market can easily grab liquidity from shorts. All it needs is further pushing to the upside. And all those shorts from these late shorts will be forced to close and buy positions. Okay, so let's go further. 
but currently we are also squeezing uh, we also had some nice shorts coming in so the, the short, short squeeze continues open interest should be declining yeah it's declining so it's all good let's go to another template wrecked we've turned off look at the volumes we are looking at the volumes so this was the last today is 30 yeah so this morning we had exhaustive move to the downside with relative volume spikes you see when you compare volume to previous candles really nothing but now you have two or three times more volume so very exhaustive swing failure pattern for you um, we did swing failure pattern only on Bybit by the way so you had another chance to long but no other exchange did this swing failure pattern look at that super tight it means you also have equal lows here on all exchanges in the world so when uh, so it's weak low and big liquidity i was mentioning but do you see bybit bybit didn't disappoint us with the swing failure pattern it was nicely exhaustive with uh you know with the uh shorts into the shorts into the lows which were providing fuel you also had shorts a bit higher now market was pushing mainly on the short squeeze and some big longs were also coming like the new longs it was also you know very nice volume candle negating the selling pressure so very very nice you should you should be definitely long from this if you missed any other any other longs it was really great opportunity to have so tight stop loss and uh, just reward ratio like five to one or even more so fantastic and since that moment we are rising in the relative volume is just you know most of the time like flat we had some nice spike over here which served as a take profit uh, on the intraday basis but you still keep part of the position open but volumes continue to be very low so you now wait for the exhaustive uh, moves super low volumes no scalping uh, in such volumes definitely no scalping you you wait for the you know for market to come to you to your area of, areas of interest either to the downside or to the upside we personally are in longs just not just from this swing failure pattern but uh, overall we were building longs here because it was a uh, high probability area for bounce what we were seeing in uh, in the you know other tools i will be showing <clears throat> We can have a look on other template from TPO. No, okay, actually, yes. Oh uh, yeah. So we actually have buying tail. So this is really good low. It replaced the shitty shitty market structure. You see there was too much price uh, action. So we very nice. But I, I don't think it looks same on the other exchanges. Well, let me check. Because Bybit uh, only did. Mm-hmm. On Binance, you actually don't have so only Bybit has a good low. So in the future, it's very likely market will fix these lows. It's very very bad structure, same as we have very bit uh, very bad structure above us. So it's more likely market co might continue range here and just fix everything. <laughs> Let's return back. We can actually merge these together to have a look on the three day volume profile. Okay, nice. Yes, that's your main range you are actually trading at the moment. You can trade the rotations, definitely take profit area for you here. Yeah, as you start to spend time below the val back of the area, you know the time the odds are increasing, you will be retesting point of control. For maximum bullish uh, continuations, uh, I would not trade this as a standalone trade here. I don't want to trade in the middle of the range, especially when it's developing range. When market pushes few thousand dollars to the upside, you know, it makes some nice structure, then goes for the pullback and will be retesting this high volume node and point of control. Yes, I am interested, but I'm not interested when market is uh, developing range and is going to in go into the middle of the range. Why? Because if I take long here, I need very wide stop loss below the range. If I go short here, I need very wide stop loss behind these highs. I will be doing, uh, in terms of reward ratio, you will have a one to one trade. That's like, fifth, that's not good. You know, you, we look for trades which are giving us five to 10, five to even 10 to even 20 to one reward ratio. What are those trades? Of course, those are like swing failure patterns or VAL. If you are looking for VAL trades or VAC trades, you already have much better ratio you already have two or three to one ratio for your short because if you if you went short on the on this very close VAG retest you needed um, not so not so big stop loss right two to one ratio at least and you hit your targets so yeah i generally avoid 
trading, developing a high volume node that box. You don't want to be stuck in the middle of the range, in no matter what what size. And I mean, no matter what, if it's short or long. So I would, would be interested to be trading well of the range or another swing failure pattern and a liquidity grab of the range. Same to the upside. I'll be looking for swing failure pattern here. If I don't get it, I know market is very likely pushing over. Now you have single prints here. So that's going to be <clears throat> filled into the liquidity I was showing you very likely. You can you can predict market in uh, into these certain angles. It's just fantastic. Um, further to the upside, if we start pushing to the upside, then we will have a look on, you know, Market will be focusing on this. This point of control was traded already. There is very little volume. There is very little resistance actually uh, to actually reach even that high. Once you start pushing over this, what was open interest doing there? Open interest was increasing. Many longs coming in. Now it's decreasing. So decreasing open interest. There are no significant trap traders. You have big shorts here. This can initiate short squeeze and there is very little resistance in this area. You will be focusing on the highs. That's what I'm seeing directly. Another template session. We will not go over this. We will go over a daily. We can have a look on daily profile. Yeah, you have two daily naked point of controls, but problem is this one was uh, a front run. So from volume profile, you you already weakened this daily naked point of control, but might be able to swing failure pattern, but we will see. This one had uh, how much? This one is not front run, definitely not the front run because it's more than $200. This one above this high is tradable. So, you know, market retesting this for the swing failure pattern rejection. Another trade idea. Weekly and monthly, we will go uh, from that uh, in the desktop version. I have much better uh, template there. Uh, we don't use much this template. What else we can check? These are just supportive templates. We don't need nothing from here. We can go into the desktop. Delta templates, how is the market developing today? Very nice. We found support in the third deviation with a lot of absorptions. Large traders were uh, absorbing this move like they started already here. Big absorptions, a lot of liquidations, very good, you know, price action at the bottom of the range. Now we are pushing to the upside and we found resistance at the, again, at the resistance band. And uh, VWAP was it retested? No. But VWAP, we are trading above daily VWAP and daily open which is, uh, you know, your bias is still to the upside until you change market structure. But uh, definitely very big profit taking was happening here and also absorption. So you had chance also for this scalp short. But now pullback already is holding with larger trades absorbing some nice liquidations. Beautiful sessions. How are these session uh, naked point of controls looking? Oh yeah, actually we were talking, oh <clears throat> we were talking about this uh, naked point of control yesterday. From, from the uh, Asia, we've got retest today. That's why we actually stopped before we are, we, we attack the highs, yes? So you got beautiful reaction. So you saw there was nice confluence from the Delta template, but you also had such a naked point of controls from the technical analysis. You combine order flow and TA together along with price action. Very nice scalp. To the upside, what we have closed session, this is very weak point of control because the volume of it is uh, very low, but these point of controls are pretty decent for scalp at least, but we don't have much trap traders here. So you just uh, be careful. Okay. Because if market starts short squeezing, we were discussing this it can uh, push heavily weekly time frame. Weekly time frame. Okay. So we also have above this high, we also have weekly point of control. That's very juicy. So we have daily and weekly point of control. So you definitely need to watch this high in the future for the potential rejection. You have now double confluence for this swing failure pattern. Why this matter watermark need to, I need to turn it off. Settings. Safe. Just save on here. Okay. Weekly perspective, how it's looking it, how it's looking market from the weekly perspective. Weekly open. We are trading about are we trading about weekly open? 
Yes, we are reclaiming it. That's a that's positive sign when Bitcoin is reclaiming weekly open because it then opens to opens row to the previous week range rotation. But for that, you will need to reclaim previous week equilibrium. Once you do that, you are opening road for the previous week range rotation, which is targeting seventy one thousand five hundred fifty. But you have this point of control in front, so <clears throat> a level by level trading for now. We can actually merge the profiles to see what's up. Let me load one more template here, weekly, but more clean. Two weeks range currently is holding the valve very nice. Road is open to the upside. You can have eyes on this TPOG as well, 69,000 to 2 to 6 for scalp. If market is lose, if market lose this low here, it's very likely we will cascade, uh, you know, for this low as well. So you'll be watching for the liquidity here so for 66,000, 66,000 uh, liquidity. Uh, we have very big orders in the order book, so very likely we will. It's like looking from order book's perspective. I, I think we will get swing failure pattern. But we will see until we get there if the wall stays there. If you lose this low as well, you will very likely go for this low. And we will be maybe if you fail this low, you can start filling the single prints here. Very large inefficiency in the market, which in the end should be filled. But when you fill this, you will be actually getting big support from the composite weekly point of control. Let me show you. <coughs> so, so, so over here. You see. I merge this session here. Let me demerge because I don't know why it's reset profile. We can be merging this together. And this together as well. Like this, because these two are uh, on different place. So in case you lose this low, you know you have big single prints to be filled, but you also will have the support area, which is starting from 63,795, and the strongest part of it is at 62,985. I also did post in our group about, about this. It's not only, you know, high volume node and point of control from Multivic, but you also have previous strong market structure resistance going to be tested as support. Yes, so very, very high chance for the nice bounce. Of course, if you fail here, you will go for these lows, but this is beautiful. This is beautiful setup. We will be waiting in the future. Very likely summer will be choppy, so it might give opportunities like that. So that's weekly perspective. By the way, those this rejection from the weekly poke was crazy. This was my first big short. Uh, look here. I'm often first in the moves. Uh, I like to add to position, of course, and I like that. But you know, this short here. You see, I had a lot of, lot of smaller, smaller trades here. I think I went over this in the video, but you know, the core short was done with the weekly naked point of control there, and order flow confluence. Uh, let's go to monthly time frame. How it's month looking? We will be resetting profiles in case there was some merging. Watermark is still here. I need to turn it off. Why it's not saved? Okay. Very nice. So from monthly perspective, Bitcoin is still looking pretty healthy. Like when you start to trade about 68,700, you'll be trading about developing VAC as well of this range. Yeah. And uh, we can merge this profile together so we can have a look on the three month range we are in. It's like a bullish bull market consolidation. It's normal in the bull cycles. Very nice. And the the pullback here. Of course, we don't want to like you don't you don't want to trade. You need to do some intraday trading here if, if you want to enter on this such. But this is point of control of the three months uh, and high volume node. This is the main area holding you currently. While you hold this, you know you have doors open to the upside just from this perspective to attack the highs again to attack this high 
this high and eventually make a new all-time highs. We, when you lose this, of course, you will be looking for another big rotation to the downside, which is targeting 63,174. Do you think, do you see how everything is making sense? 63,000 is important from AMT level on the higher time frame. So you have the, a lot of support here from market structure now, weekly naked point of controls, composite, this composite point of control from this range. Uh, you will finish rotation of that range. 63k will be very big, important level in the future. A yeah, very simple analysis. Why we hold these doors are open to the upside. Absorptions today. No, just today. It was great. This is very little cute template. It's showing us, uh, you know, absorptions and delta profiles. Each time we were approaching the lows, we've got these big shots getting trapped each time, like here. Even today, this swing failure pattern. Very heavy shorts getting trapped. 22 million short. Yeah, heavy, heavy delta, and then market is immediately reversing. Such a, such a great swing failure pattern. Even pullback is holding. People are trying to short, but you see again, aggressive side getting absorbed by the stronger market participants. Again here, this is like simplifying your absorptions view. Very, very simple template you can get in our group. Uh, we over, we went over this. This is exocharts done. Just nice quick analysis. Let's have a look on the trading light, and then we will be finishing with the TRTR. Trading light is more used for the intraday entries, and um, we ev evaluate data in the uh, TRDR. One thing I was mentioning in the group, so Bitcoin can actually go to the upside, is posted over here. You know, Ethereum was looking pretty bad. We were at 33,800. Uh, 3, I said very clearly, we will very likely go for the liquidity and it will drag Bitcoin down. We actually did it today and Bitcoin was dragged down over here for the swing failure pattern when Ethereum was taking its own liquidity. Let's have a look. Ethereum. Now you see very nice bounce on Ethereum because we, you know, we've got, we've had a lot of people long. Now smart capital was absorbing them. Ethereum is in a similar situation with Bitcoin. It either will going to continue range here or it's going to break these highs without swing failure pattern and pushing to the upside. But liquidity, 90% of it was taken already. So Ethereum did its job also fixed uh, very, very like one, two, three, four, five, five bad lows with nice strong low. Yeah. So Ethereum fixed the market uh, structure as well. So very nice move. And you already have 2.2% move. So trading light. Currently we are getting uh, supported by the you know, order books, you can see clearly in the order book suit, the spot market, what, this is why we are arranging, we are reaching some nice thresholds for the intraday support on the spot markets. And each time you go to the range, you are getting some pressure. So that's why we are holding this nice range. Uh, currently, we are getting support from, let me refresh, this is like going slower, like I want. <laughs> so these are the other books. Now, Bitcoin is currently ranging where there is part of le least resistance, which means all the books are pretty empty. Yes, if we zoom out this, we see Bitcoin can range where market allows it because it's uh, we are in summer now. The volumes are low, so you need very little volumes to move over these nodes where you have no no significant. Look, look at the other books. You have like 10 Bitcoins, 20. That's nothing. You can move on very little volumes. OK. So, and now you, we are seeing big stabilization. So this is main resistance. Someone is already trying to place big positions when we take out these highs, when we fill single prints, when we take local liquidity and absorb all those forced buyers for the potential rejection. So very likely we might find some resistance here. If you, and also he's trying to, you know, absorb the trapped shorts, which can eventually happen. So very clever walls. He will get very likely easy fill. Now range is supported by the more local limits on the perps. You see this node here, very, very decent, but also the big, big look at that. There is tens of millions or even hundreds of millions of orders starting from 66,000 to 63,500. Someone really is protecting the market. And oftentimes we place range in front of such orders because people already want to front run such big orders. So. Yeah, this, this is already helping. You will see that on uh, TRDR templates.
Yesterday we also had some big spoofing. It was scaring market to the downside. Sometimes these people do that. They open, they uh, make big positions, so they scare market and fill their own longs. <laughs> so very likely it was possible here. You see how it was very easy for the market to push to the upside here. We had no real resistance in the perpetual markets while big wall was holding us. So yeah, very, very nice. How is the Ethereum looking? I'm sure that Ethereum is getting support from the other books. Yeah, here we are. This is spot market because open interest is non-existent here. You can see when we were grabbing liquidity, someone was supporting market heavily here. 1000 Ethereum, 1000, 1000. Okay, that's that's serious orders, you know, this is like 100 of million of bits. So you prevented you. That's why you don't short into the walls. You go with the walls. Some people were getting definitely long, putting stop loss behind them. <clears throat> it was great area for long. So I was sleeping, but I would definitely take such long with such order book support. Perpetuals, maybe they were helping a bit as well. Just need to delete some. Perpetuals were bidding a bit lower. That's fine. No real resistance from the perpetuals. Market can easily push if it wants, if it finds the volume. So very nice. Okay, and we will be finishing video with the TRDR analysis. Uh, let's start with the template number one. So we are getting higher time frames selling pressure. That's why we are ranging here. That's why we are creating such range. Because these big orders above this range are putting lead. Yeah, imagine it like pot. Now this is big lead on the price. You would need big volumes to actually break much higher here. But while you have these big bands from the higher time frames and further from, from the price, we've got the more um, intraday and medium uh, intraday bands. They are coming mainly from perpetual, so leverage is actually bidding heavily here. Oftentimes the spot is reversing the market, but this time it's leverage, leverage, heavy bits. We are, you know, since this moment we are longing this range and we are just trading bottoms of this range. We know statistically we should push to the upside. Look here, we had also localized selling pressure when I was going short here. I got help from the other books, same here, when we hundreds of millions of people were exchanging the, you know, longing here, there and getting trapped. Also localized, pre localized pressure, localized pressure. Now we are, you know, we are going with the other books further. So this is the delta aggregation. We use this template for multiple purposes. The one thing I will mention is definitely market has fuel to push to the upside. We have the localized, localized fuel here. Lots of shorts, 500 million thresholds are getting reached. You already reached first threshold um, in terms of symmetry of the market. Heavy, you see people were shorting heavily here. Market repeated same symmetry. Someone is shorting, if he's getting trapped, he needs to buy. So market already like reached first of your targets but it still has potential to to push much higher because we reached another big threshold of 1.40 billion here and uh, this is giving fuel to to actually go for the highs yes you will wait for the threshold to reach similar similar uh, symmetry so over 1 billion then you will be taking another profit you might be looking for another short so there is very nice local fuel to push for to the upside that's what we are waiting for you see also over here this top was 1 billion we watch these thresholds they are very you can uh, you can predict future with them like how much how much fuel uh, market gets for your trades. Just beautiful. Let's go further. Liquidations. We go to smaller time frame. Five minute. Liquidations. Very nice. Each time we were approaching the lows of the range, the longs liquidation were showing up as confluence. We definitely want liquidations because it's showing us the market caused nice pain and market likes to reverse on the pain. Like here, even larger liquidations, 11 million. What was compared to previous activity? Yeah, here was even larger, but still decent. But market currently likes this threshold of 3.7 million or something. To the upside, when we start, when, in case we do some nice impulse, I'll be looking for nice liquidations, at least 5 million, same like here. For the potential reversal, aggregating open interest. Five minute, 50 minute time frame. Currently open interest is increasing along with price. 
so this is this is healthy move it's like real move it's not a short squeeze <clears throat> so this is nice but i need to also see this yeah we had a lot of shorts coming here they are now getting potentially to be squeezed so market has a lot of short squeeze potential from here and from here but you also have big longs in this range so in case the range turns in case we turn to the downside <clears throat> Uh, in case you lose this low and there will be no swing failure pattern you can be easily at 66k so you need to know your exit plan for your long as well like you you don't want white stop loss here because you will be you you will be at the same boat with hundreds of millions longs in this range as well we can also see that open interest in this template fifty minutes time frame Each time we had large delta increase, yes, like here, uh, you had a lot of longs coming in, so you know you have big longs in this in this region. You can see that more uh, clearly in the exo charts, but you know you have big longs here. Now open interest is increasing here, so you have mixed. This is mixed, so you have longs and shorts coming together, 50-50, if it's like that. Another open interest increase here, big shorts coming here. So market is currently trying to squeeze shorts from here. He was going down. Now open interest is increasing. You have new longs leading the market, trying to show, uh, squeeze the shorts here. Very nice. Further, CVD. CVD is looking very healthy, by the way. Only one thing I can I can show you. Like I can show you multiple things, but the one thing I want to put importance is Binance. Uh, uh, sorry, the. Coinbase is uh, Coinbase contains the ETFs, yes, from the US. And when Coinbase is putting new trends to the upside or to the downside, is usually leading the market. Currently, we are seeing first market structure change here on the Coinbase inflows. This is healthy sign. We might see more more gains. Yes, because from seventy one thousand, we had a big selling pressure on the on the Coinbase. Uh, on the Coinbase and not only on Coinbase, also on the Binance, there was heavy pressure. Binance is still going range. Binance is, Binance is more powerful than Coinbase. It's still ranging. That's why we are also ranging. But if Binance gets aboard the Coinbase, we can see more upside. For, uh, the spot will be bidding further. And other minor exchanges. What are they doing? OKX is buying, that's great. OKX is the pretty influential exchange in the Asia. Kraken, Kraken is still, but the Kraken is pretty small, so Kraken is still distributing down. And Bitmex was buying here. I mean, Bitfinex was buying here, but it's still it is distributing, but also low volumes. So uh, yeah, very, really nice. The three biggest exchanges are uh, bidding. That's great to see. That's what is leading the market, because you need market participants on the passive side. In the order books, but they also need the spot bit, so to so someone actually carries the market, yeah. Five minute time frame. So we know we are getting bands, but uh, to see exactly who is supporting us, currently spot spot two two first spot columns, which are more for intraday basis, are nicely supporting market. Each time you see the pressure is increasing as we are at the top of the range, so it's time for take profit. Pressure is increasing again, but only locally. I don't see such pressure as we had like much higher pressure than on this high. So market actually can take out the highs very likely and do you know take liquidity and other setups we are mentioning is uh, looking like it's uh, allowing market to move. Yeah, this time much more easier. There is not so selling pressure yet. Neutral on the aggregation from perpetuals and futures, a bit neutral, again going into ne negative, but also nothing crazy. And spot on the, f this is why we are getting the bands here, very fat, they are stabilizing the market, but also locally they were stabilizing, really, really great. You On this template you had green lights at the bottom of the range and to take profits at the top of the range, easy peasy. We go further. 
for this poll that Delta doing. So this time we are not watching ratio is in other books, but we are watching if uh, spot market is bidding or not. Currently spot market, how it's looking. This is combined with the CVD template. Now we are seeing clearly the spot is each time we are at low spot is buying nicely and the intraday intraday column is also buying here so spot is definitely interested in this area it's not neutral the buyer's delta is winning and on higher time frames this is still neutral neutral uh, more a bit negative and from high time frame it's still negative but it's of course because we had this huge selling pressure from the like from the 71,000. but locally it's looking great spot is buying funding rate how is funding rate looking we want to see funding rate decreasing as market is uptrending this is usually a good sign the shorts uh, or shorts on average are trying to fight the spot inflows which we are seeing and is actually happening so spot funding rate is going down yes and the price is trending up so that's great that's helping you to be patient in your long when you were see when you were seeing such a setup you see funding rate shoot up here and uh, you know you have too many longs compared to spot market price action in the unrecked and that's about that's it you know um, that's it we went over the exocharts trading light trdr i showed you some potential setups what i'm seeing on the market i hope it was useful you know this data you need to evaluate every single day so Tomorrow, you know, we can have different data. So this is video is like for today, and some some things I was seeing for, of course, are more, are more from longer time frames. I hope this video was helpful for you, traders. If you like it, just give it a like. If you want to learn and see market how I see it with 85% order flow and statistical data, so you can pull the trigger and see them the trade patiently. Join our Discord, learn with us, and have a happy summer. Bye.